Uh, it, it's it's been a great camp and it's been it's been fantastic. It really has. Uh, I don't really know what to say. I've worked hard. I'm I'm getting wrote off again. You know I'm supposed to get knocked out and. I kind of anticipated what David would get up here and say. He, he got up here. <laughs> Lad, I'm robbing the bank, but I don't have to put a bally on this time. Uh, David was amazed that I took the rematch. I knew he was by, by just the fact that I turned up and done it. So I'm doing it. I'm going to do exactly what I've done in the first fight. You're going to miss. And you're going to miss by miles. So... Uh, expect a cagey start. David will, will show me the respect that he should have shown in the first fight. I'm pretty sure Ishmael has watched me an awful lot. He's a fantastic coach. He's trained many world champions. Uh, I'm amazed that Jorge is not still with you. An amazing fighter in a truly amazing fight. So I'm kind of gutted for Jorge because he was progressing at an even better rate under your tuition. So it's a shame that Jorge Linares is not under your tuition no more, but he still he doesn't detract any. You're an amazing coach, had an amazing career. Uh, as has David Hay. But on Saturday, mate, it comes to an end. It really does. And for the first time in your whole career, you are actually fighting for your career. Not even injury saves you this time, David. For the first time in your whole career, you are going to walk the ring and think, if this goes wrong, nothing can save me. And, and let's, let's not mix it up. I've done this five, six times. And I know the pressure that brings to you. I know the kind of atmosphere that can generate. And you're in a lot of trouble Saturday, mate. You really are. I don't need to... I, I, before the last fight, I never needed to hate David. I never needed... He's got this belief I was trying to wind him up. I wasn't. I just told him a few home truths. The fact of the matter is, David isn't back to win world titles. David is the man who's back to rob the bank. And he's trying to do it with as little risk as possible. And the mistake that he made is, he picked this little fat cruiserweight scouser with a mouth to try and make that against because he thought it was an easy fight. If David was really back for world titles, he would have just got on the phone to Al Heyman and his advisors and made the fight with Deontay Wilder. But the sad fact of it all is, David wants to fight crabs and little fatties. And the bad thing is, I fall into that category of little fatty. I can accept it. Like I said, I'm a realist. I'm not a fantasist. David is living in fantasy land if he believes he can become undisputed every champion of the world. Because on Saturday night, David gets his ass smacked and put back in his box. And that's how it's going down. Saturday night, tune in for a great fight. Thank you all so, so much. I love every one of you. Thank you. I really, really mean that I do. But Saturday night, guys, we time to go to war. And your career, my son, ends in a beat. Thank you.